I'm a traveller. I'm passionate about travelling and photography. So I'm often asked what came first. And I think photography came first. I fell in love with photography almost immediately. Mum and Dad gave me a camera for my 16th birthday. Shot it on the weekend, got the prints back the following week and I was hooked. The rest is history. That was it. It was pretty clear quite quickly to me that the blend of travel and photography was perfectly suited to me. I just love the process of discovering new places. I think there's no doubt that if there's an underlying passion, the rest will fall into place. Given I earn my living from photography, I've always bought the best gear. When you're walking to Everest Base Camp and it's taken you three weeks to get there, you do not want your equipment letting you down. The Canon gear has been incredibly reliable. I went from film cameras to digital cameras and I've, I've never had any troubles with them at all. And I've taken them to some pretty extreme environments, you know, seriously cold temperatures and the opposite. I've got just over 20,000 pictures online now and uh, around 15 images a day get licensed somewhere in the world. Because I'm shooting stock images, I don't know how they're going to be used. By a lot of photographer standards, I was a late adopter in terms of digital. I waited until I was able to get a digital file that I thought was as good, if not better, than colour transparency. The Canon sensors allow me to shoot files that will reproduce the reality of what I photographed, from postcard up to billboard size. The Canon cameras are just getting better and better. I first approached Lonely Planet after my first seven month trip and they treated me very politely but basically said, don't call us, we'll call you. But when I went back, I was much more prepared. By then I'd covered all of Asia, all of Australia, and so when I set up a meeting, I actually had something to offer this time. I appeared just at the right time. I had this fantastic coverage for a lot of the places they covered, and I quickly became the, the main supplier of images to Lonely Planet. I've done three big projects that have resulted in large format books on Australia, Nepal, and India. You won't find many photographers who don't have an ambition to publish their own book. All these books are the result of multiple trips over many years. So Nepal was 20 trips over 20 years and India was 30 trips over 25 years. I've always kept my gear really simple because it's on my shoulder all day. I was so pleased with the Canon zoom lenses because the range of subject matter that I cover and quite often the speed that I have to capture images at, the minute I found that the zooms were incredible quality, I was really pleased to just be able to work with a couple of zooms. It made my life so much easier. I'm always looking for the convergence of a really interesting subject with great light. You know, that's what I spend my life doing. I shoot all my pictures with available light and as a consequence of that I'm often shooting in low light and because of the fact that I can shoot at high ISOs that were just unheard of years ago, the Canon DSLRs have opened up opportunities to take pictures in places where I couldn't do it before. Been to about 95 countries now, I think, on all seven continents. India's been a very special place in my career. The bathing ghats at Varanasi at sunrise is always an incredible sight. 
I've shot a lot in the Himalaya, right through the Himalaya, from one end to the other. And I went into Bhutan very early. The festivals around the world are just sensational destinations as a travel photographer. I've been to the largest gathering of humanity ever at a festival called the Kumbh Mela in India. 30 million people gather. It's so big apparently you can see it from space. The glaciers and the geysers in Iceland remain very high on my list of great destinations and I'd love to go back there, which is always saying something. I'm going to keep doing this forever. I can't really imagine stopping. It's what I love. It's who I am. There are far too many more places to go.